The Spruce Kings needing a win to play another day, trailing Chilliwack two games to one. In game three, it was the Chiefs who came out fast, scoring early. But in game four, the Kings would only need 28 seconds to strike. Trevor Esau blasts on the point shot, 1-0. On a power play, Philip Zilawanka would answer though. The King killer connects for his fifth of the playoffs, tying the game at one. Late in the period, the Kings have a glorious opportunity to retake the lead. Jake Lebrun to Shane Morrissey on the two-on-one, but Mitch Gillum commits a crime, making a great save, robbing Morrissey 1-1 after one period. In the second stanza, another great chance to start the period for the Kings. Only 23 seconds in, Colton Hansen races down the wing and snaps it upstairs to one home team. After that, a mad scramble in front of the Kings net. Ryan Donahue with a chance, but somehow the puck would stay out. You don't score, the other team usually does. The Chiefs can't clear, the puck goes right to Morrissey. He puts it upstairs to make it 3-1 after 40 minutes. In the third, the Kings almost make it 4-1. They work the puck out front to Braden Epp, but he doesn't get all of it. Then with the Chiefs pressing, Shea Laurent has a wide open net, but Kirk Thompson with the save of the game, somehow keeping the puck out. Chilliwack, though, would go to a power play and they would make the Kings pay. Zilawanka with his second of the night, 3-2, we were in for quite the finish. This is how close the Chiefs would come to tying him. Josh Hansen hits the crossbar, but that's as close as they would get. The Kings would add two empty netters, the first by Hansen, then with only 0.5 seconds left in the game, Morrissey with his second, 5-2 final score. The Spruce Kings force a fifth and deciding game Wednesday in Chilliwack. All you can really think about is, I don't want it to be the last time, so uh, I mean, credit to all the guys, all the 20 year olds scored today, I mean, every, all our older guys stepped up, and uh, same effort comes along tomorrow and we're off to round two. We just got to play exactly what we played tonight. Block shots and everything, everybody had their heart out there and I think we can beat them.